Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, so previous video that I uh, I define, uh, I give the proof of Lipton's proof on the worst case of every case reduction on the permanent. So basically, we prove that permanent should be hard for, like, uh, if you can, like, com you have Oracle, which you can compute permanent uh, over a finite field up to, like, probability equal one, uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 3 n, then you can compute the permanent x in the BVP to O. And, uh, yeah, so the proof basically is just uh, you you uniformly choose and like the matrices and then you shift it, and uh, you compute t equals to one to two up to three up to n plus one, and uh, then you prove that you still uniform. Then you just use this algorithm and, and uh, around the union bound, and you can prove that the probability of the you randomly choose b and around this algorithm the success the fail rate is one divided by third or uh, one divided by three. So the successful rate is two divided by uh, two thirds. Then you can use a point of interpolation, then you get a permanent. Okay, so if you haven't seen the previous video that you can check out. So in this video, uh, I will uh, uh, use more like sophisticated tool and to tell you why this actually this probability can go up to like uh, three divided by four plus one over poly n. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, Okay, so now let's uh, dive into the proof. Okay. Uh, okay, so now what, what we are doing is the following. So this is like more general version, where it's uh, like more uh, fine version. Okay, so let's say you take alpha to be one over uh, poly n, one divided by, and uh, the prime, prime greater or equal to three n divided by alpha squared. Then the following shall be hard. Okay, so what shall be hard? So let's given a uniform, uh, given a uniform random matrices, given a random uniform uni, a uh, uniform random matrices, and the uh, outputs permanent M mappy. Oh, sorry, output the uh, sorry, I'm stupid. I'll put the permanent. Uh, with probability, <laughs> Prob uh, probability, sorry, I'm stupid, probability, at least alpha over uh, M. Okay, so this is like a most sophisticated version, but in this video, that I proved the following. So I proved the uh, the the weaker version, but still stronger than the previous results. The probability of of n equals to permanent m is greater or equal to three divided by four plus one over poly n. Okay, so notice that the previous results that I I use is the previous results that I prove is the one divided by a uh, one minus one divided by three n. Okay, so this one is like uh, uh weaker than this one. Okay, and you can easily check that if you do this. Uh, using the same proof on this one, you, that you will definitely fail. Okay. Uh, okay. So the the idea that what one can do is that uh, in the previous that we use t from one to n plus one, but in this video that but in but actually you can use right because their p is very large, right? P is p is very large, so actually you can use t equals to one to three up to like p minus one. Okay, so now you have more points. Since you have more points, and you can do like much more weaker polynomial interpolation. Okay, so let's do a trick. So trick is the same thing, right? So given given x, right? I compute x plus t y, and I use I define q of t to be the permanent of x of t. Okay, so uh, we choose uh, y uniformly random. Okay, so we choose y uniform random n by the matrices in prime field, and I def I define x plus t y, and I imagine that q of t is permanent of x of t. Okay, then we know that q of zero is just permanent of x. Okay, and uh, then we compute, so we can compute that uh, x of zero. Uh, I would say uh, sorry, sorry, I'm stupid. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, and uh, the theorem tells us that the probability of O of xt equals Q of t, 
like for uh t is non zero. So for every t is non zero, the probability draw over uh this one, draw over uh x of t, right? This probability is greater or equal to three divided by four plus delta. Okay. So now we define s to be the t non zero such that uh, x of t is the same as q of t. Okay, so we ask the successful rate, the successful the successful number such that s uh is large enough, right? So we want so we want s to be large enough. Okay, so now we can we have like we can use like t equals to like one, two, three up to like p minus one. Okay, so we total have like p minus one. Okay, so now uh, how to do this? Okay, so the tool is so-called the reverse Markov inequality. Okay, so what is reverse Markov inequality? Basically say that, uh, okay, so Markov inequality says that if you have X, which is now negative, random variable, then the probability of X greater than A is necessarily equal to exponential X divided by A. Okay, and uh, yeah, and the the okay. So this is the Markov, right? There's an idea called reverse Markov. Okay, so the reverse Markov basically means that uh, if x is bounded by an uh, operator around b, then the probability of uh, let's say uh, right. So let's say s is like upper bound by b. Okay, then you can just prove this to be uh x let's say uh right so the proof idea you 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 need to change this one into this one right so sometimes I, I oh okay okay so we have let's say we have this that's so equal to this right so we can like replace okay so if I if I know that uh, I can define uh y to be uh, b minus x, if I know x is definitely less or equal to b, then the probability of, uh, so x is like b minus y. Okay, so b minus y greater or equal to a is less or equal to exponential, uh, exponential value of b minus y divided by a. Okay, so now I want to change a to b, I want to replace a to b, uh, b minus a. Okay, so this means that probability of b minus y greater equal to b minus a is less or equal to b minus e position y, b minus a. Okay, so the probability of y less or equal to a is less or equal to b minus e position y, b minus a. Okay, so this is what we want. Okay. So this means that the probability of y greater or equal to a is greater or equal to one minus b minus e position y b minus a. Okay, so now uh, very simple. Right? So we have this, and then we have this. Okay, so it's trivial, right? Why? Because now uh, it's uniform random. So I so the exponential value of random variable, right? So the exponential value of the successful rate. The, the successful events, right, will be the, let's say this y. Uh, let's say, uh, it's fine, let's call it x. Uh, let's call it y, okay. So let me just write y, y to be the, the successful, uh, the number of successful events. Okay, and the expectation y, expectation value of y will be there, the p minus one of length, right, p minus one of length, and the each successful rate at this list. Okay, and in this case, they are B, right? Uh, we want to ask this. And so the B, right? B, B is the, the upper bound, right? So upper bound is just P minus one, right? Because total at the P minus one always success, right? And you, you, you at most have like P minus one events. Okay, and uh, your A, right? So what you were asking, that's the, the S, right? You ask what's S, the probability of the S, the successful events, number uh, greater or equal to half of delta p minus one can just greater or equal to one minus 
one minus b minus e y. Right, so b minus e y will be p minus one. Okay, divided by the b minus a. So a is here. Okay, so you get p minus one half of this. Okay, so you get one minus one divided by four divided minus delta divided by half minus delta greater equal to half plus delta. Okay, so your probability of s will success half plus one over point polynomial. Okay, so one can just use the the b the BBP uh error amplification method. So we only need to round uh all of one divided by delta square times. So we have made let's say s can like the probability the probability of s uh greater or equal to half plus delta p minus one. Can I say go up to like two thirds? Okay, so it'll be some constant. Okay, so uh, find uh, the answer is that uh, so the final results, the final uh, thing I want to say is that this works. Okay, the reason is that uh, why this will tell you the results, right? Because there's an idea called a uh, 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 Berlin cap. This algorithm okay so this is also called arrow uh, arrow polynomial interpolation okay so the idea is the following right so it says say you choose a polynomial over a finite field over a finite field p and then with degree d okay so with degree d and then you have like m of points. Let's say you have m points, or n. So I should say m pairs, which is that x one, y one, up to x m y m, such that uh, you promise at least m plus d divided by two are correct. So you promise that the uh, y i equals to q of x i for at least m d plus d divided by two points. Okay, so you can extrapolate half of this point. Okay, then uh, then then the idea is that you can construct. So you can so you see this algorithm that you can construct Q easily. Okay, so it means that I can run this algorithm, but oh, uh, the one divided by delta square times, then I get this. So I will have the then I, I can then I can use this algorithm right because I already have that I can just use the arrow arrow polynomial interpolation and I can still solve this permanent with high properties okay by the way this algorithm is deterministic right so you have that determine you can always find such polynomials okay so this uh sophisticated proof will uh downgrade this proof or down the probability like up to uh three to four Okay, so see you guys next videos. Okay.